You're the truth and you do it all so natural. You're so strong and you show it in it. Start my day because I know it's gonna be beautiful like me. Hey, you, you're so beautiful. You're the truth, and you do it all so natural. You're so strong, and you show it anything. If you want it, it's yours. It's yours. You can have it all, yeah. Hey, you, you're so beautiful. You're the truth, and you. For tuning in uh, to this world, uh, this week's edition of Style and Empowerment Chat with Lauren and friends. So we're running, starting a little late because I, I had to uh, catch the amazing and historic uh, presidential inauguration. So uh, two weeks ago, we were all just uh, distraught and in tears over the domestic terrorists that attempted to take over um, the Capitol and tear apart our democracy um, with hatred and just uh, disjointed mental reality um, and just stormed the Capitol and with intent to, to harm and disrupt our government. So today, I, I, I sit here with tears of joy, um, still sad at where we're at, and and the uh, uh, the just breathtaking actions of the last two weeks. But um, so excited uh, to see the inauguration today. So moments ago. Um, so exciting to say. So moments ago, President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris were just assi- uh, took the oath of office. Uh, this is exciting just on so many levels, uh, regardless of what your political leanings and affiliations are. Um, ceilings of gender equality have now been shattered uh, by Vice President Kamala Harris, uh, being the first woman to hold uh, the position of Vice President and also the first uh, woman of color 
uh, to hold the office of vice president, so she's just knocking down uh, two doors uh, right there. Uh, and now every woman and young girl can uh, not only dream, but create the reality of one day being vice president or even president. Uh, my, my hope is that this trickles down into um, under the law and, and corporate culture, a more protection for women, equal pay, um, and just the, the dissolvement of a lot of sexist practices that go on uh, in both the workplace and uh, every lane of our culture. Uh, so it was just so exciting. Um, uh, for those of you who missed it, giving you a quick, quick run through. Uh, so Kamala Harris was signed, uh, was sworn in by uh, Supreme Court Justice Sotomayor, who of course is the first uh, Latin American female Latin American Supreme Court Justice. Uh, that was followed by uh, Jennifer Lopez uh, singing America the Beautiful, which is one of my favorite hymns. Uh, and then, of course, uh, President, now President Biden um, was sworn in, uh, and it was so exciting. Uh, the Obamas are there. Of course, Michelle is looking beautiful, as always, in her plum coat. Um, and uh, Kamala, uh, Vice President Harris, Let's uh, say it properly. Uh, Vice President Harris uh, was wearing a beautiful blue coat. Blue seems to be uh, the fashion trend this morning and a, a blustery, cold uh, kind of snow squall a day in D.C. I'm very excited. So, you know, I'm here in my inaugural outfit. I got my pearls on and uh, my Black Roads Matter shirt. And I'm super excited. Uh, I saw when they did a close-up of Vice President Harris, we're actually wearing the same necklace. So that's super excited. And, of course, the Clintons and the Bushes um, were all there uh, to help celebrate, um, along with members of the Senate. Of course, who we expected not to be there was uh, petty ex-President Trump. Uh, who left Washington, D.C. at 8 in the morning to fly back to the, uh, his mansion in Florida. He did not uh, participate in any of the traditional tr uh, transition of power rituals, uh, which every other president for pretty much the history of the United States has done, uh, including um, having a breakfast with the new president, uh, sending an aircraft out uh, to the incoming president to transport that president from where they are to uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, president Biden actually had to charter his own plane, um, and Trump threw himself a going-away party, which hardly anyone went to or cared about. Okay, uh, um, so uh, it was just so exciting to see um, Biden and Kamala just walking through the Capitol. And, of course, uh, everybody was working around the clock and not only to restore the interior damage that the anarchists uh, did in, in uh, the riot, um, two weeks ago, but also uh, the National Guard and security uh, is uh, it's deep and all around keeping everybody safe and Nancy Pelosi. Also, Nancy's wearing a, a beautiful sky blue coat and uh, First Lady Biden was also wearing a blue, a sky blue tweed coat. So blue is definitely, uh, definitely the color. So um, as we speak, uh, President Biden is getting into his murder He's going to be heading over to Arlington Cemetery um, with his presidential escort to lay a wreath, uh, traditionally um, following um, inaugural tradition. Uh, he's in, as we speak, uh, former President Obama is out there greeting the crowd. And uh, President Biden will be going to Arlington National Cemetery to lay a wreath on the tomb of the unknown soldier. Uh, and then 
then um, around 3.30ish, uh, there's going to be a ver you Normally, they have the parades going throughout town, but uh, between COVID and safety concerns, all that's going to be done virtually. So you'll be able to catch that on your TV. It was so exciting to watch uh, Kamala get uh, sworn in. Uh, it was a bit emotional. Uh, it's just such an amazing uh, moment to see um, a woman uh, reach uh, such important heights. Uh, of course, uh, Biden's speech uh, talked about uh, the big uh, theme of uh, President Biden's speech was the call to unity. Um, repairing our alliances and he spoke about the fragility of democracy and, and just how important it was for us to unify um, across political divides to make a better country together. Uh, Biden, uh, President Biden, um, so I'm so used to for the ba past um, four years separating the name of our former president from the word president because I just couldn't consciously use those words together for four years. So I have to retrain my mind. <laughs> so President Biden, and it feels amazing to say that, and, and not to feel a sense of dread and, and shame and anxiety um, about your president. Uh, so uh, this today, it's a new morning, a new day. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done in this country. Um, president Biden was calling on all of us to roll our sleeves up uh, to make this uh, country a better place that's more fair and equitable and just. Um, and he spoke a lot about uh, just uh, being accountable and holding each other uh, accountable. Of course, uh, the National uh, Mall is uh, adorned with flags uh, representing all of our allies and these like l lantern banners that are representing uh, the over 400,000 people, uh, citizens in the United States who have fallen uh, and lost their lives to COVID-19. Uh, so uh, President Biden really was focused on uh, talking about his agenda, uh, that he is everybody's president, that even if he, he, he was saying, even if you didn't vote for him, to listen to his ideas, to be open, um, and the importance of not protesting in a violent way. Uh, and, and then, uh, of course, uh, the the beautiful speech uh, by, I believe they said, 17-year-old uh, poet laureate Amanda Gorman, uh, who just gave a beautiful speech, and she, she talked a lot um, in her poem about hope and, and, and love and light and darkness and one of um, my, my favorite uh, lines from her poem which I really feel sums up just where we are right now and the commitment that we all have to make to make this country and this world a better place um, so she said in her poem be brave enough to be the light be brave enough to be the light, you know, meaning be selfless enough to think about um, the issues of others and to look within ourselves to make self-sacrifice uh, and to give to others uh, and to step back and have others have an equal chance and and make those choices, um, as, uh, vote for, for uh, those uh, officials and legislation that is going to make our society uh, gender balanced, uh, uh, racial equity, equal education, health care. Uh, these are all the things that we are all fighting and, and protesting for. 
Uh, and I personally want to to thank it's my um, Black Votes Matter tea. I personally want to want to thank all of the millions of Black voters who rallied and and mobilized and and grassroots to. Uh, be the driving force of uh, getting President uh, Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris elected. Uh, Eighty-seven percent of black voters uh, voted for Biden. It was one of the largest uh, voter turnouts um, in uh, uh, for black voters in the last uh, three uh, presidential elections. Uh, as a whole, this uh, this uh, 2020 presidential election had the largest voter turnout of all time. So uh, this uh, this election teaches us uh, nothing. Uh, just boiling down, it shows the power of when we are committed uh, and we care uh, and we unify as one, despite obstacles and darkness light does prevail and we can make so many positive things happen when we all think of the common good and everybody's well-being and mobilize together uh, it was just so exciting to see uh, the youth mobilizing women um, are, are just our leaders and uh, the, the speeches today on the Capitol Hill uh, were just very moving and it was just uh, it was just it was so so great to see um, not unbalanced fringed <laughs> terrorists taking over uh, our sacred center of democracy instead um, our leaders and, and pastors uh, former presidents uh, all coming together in celebration of our now uh, new president so um, of course this evening uh, at 8.30 uh, there's going to be a concert um, oh and then also shout out to Garth Brooks who um, sang a very stirring version of Amazing Grace which is also one of my favorite hymns just uh, because of the message of peace and, and hope and uh, second chances and rebirth we're all looking for, for grace and we're capable of giving grace to each other um, and so now this evening uh, there'll be the con inaugural concert uh, at 8.30 uh, so that's hosted by Tom Hanks there's going to be a number of musical performances and there'll also be pre-recorded uh, commentary uh, from President Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. Uh, so, and I, I just, I, I hope that all the all the young girls listening just feel so uh, inspired and empowered that now you you too can can aspire to rise to these places. Uh, so. Uh, there usually is, of course, um, an uh, inaugural ball, but that's not happening uh, right now because of uh, COVID concerns and uh, national security concerns. Now, if you if you missed uh, the ceremony, you can catch it, which is great. Like a lot of these um, media companies were also streaming on social media, so if you missed it on TV, if you uh, log on to the Facebook page or YouTube channel of PBS Network, uh, which of course the Public Broadcasting Network, you can uh, see the whole uh, procession and inaugural ceremony. Um, it's also on BT and a lot of other networks. So if you just search, uh, like if you're on your Facebook and if you just search the 2021 presidential uh, inauguration, it'll come up. Uh, so just uh, so amazing uh, to see uh, what can happen when we come together in peace uh, and unity and determination uh, to make this world a better place. So uh, we're going to take a musical break. Um, when we 
come back. Um, we're going to pay tribute uh, to uh, uh, just such an important uh, member of the restaurant community here in Philadelphia uh, that we lost this past week. Later on in the show, we're going to be spotlighting multiple corporations who are, have rolled out uh, civic and socially conscious initiatives uh, to help our communities and um, move forward very social causes. So keep it locked in to Style and Empowerment Chat with Lauren Friends Radio, and we'll be right back after this. Hey, Google, call Steve Berman. Calling Steve Berman. Hey, Gwen. Hi. I'm totally freaking out, and please don't hate me, but we're going to need some more money for this video. You got it. Sending you dollars. Ah, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bananas. Go ahead and knock yourself me again in your ear band. Join my music for days cause I've been here for years. Not a comeback. I'm your sucker in me. It's not a comeback. You feel the new energy. Na 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 na. Got a smile on my face. Go ahead and pass it on. Na 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 na. It's free with the coupon. Turn around 
tip Ay, bust it, bust it, bust it, bust it Is you, fuck it, two shots, fuck it Whistling rice with a body on me, goddamn I'm popping, I'm hot With thick bands and a motherfucker pants He was staying for my stance, so I took him to the spot I don't wanna talk, I wanna be in your mouth Tell that nigga get out, he ain't packing with a clock Begging for a dance, he ain't even get a chance Throw it back and let it land, ain't no begging me to stop Bitch, ate the pussy up on Tuesday Back in the side, yo, two ways Give me that top like two, pay Slipping on the pussy like cool, lay One don't be enough, I need two, bass Nigga down my throat like do, say Lick along the tip like brew, lay Nigga, I'ma do whatever you say Now watch, bust it, bust it Bust it, bust it, is you, fuck it, two shots, fuck it, bust it, bust it, bust it, bust it, is you, fuck it, two shots, fuck it, throw it like a struggle, damn, throw it like a struggle, ayy, throw it like a struggle, damn, turn around the table, ayy, bust it, bust it, bust it, bust it, is you, Fuck it, two shots, fuck it Drop it down low and pick it up, ayy You know I don't never give a fuck, ayy Nigga looking at me in the club, ayy He gon' have to throw a couple dubs, ayy I don't need one or more talk to the nigga Why he always tryna come and see what's up, uh Brown look at all of your cook, ayy Say he wanna put it on my gut, uh Nigga couldn't make it to the club, so I'ma throw it back on face, time I don't never be on no Tinder, and I don't never be on no date line Tell me I can have a couple racks, shit Told him I'ma need a belt, eight, nine Got a nigga you ain't never seen, yeah Cause I ain't never with him in a day Time I watch it, bust it, bust it, bust it, bust it Is you, fuck it, two shots, fuck it Bust it, bust it, bust it, bust it Is you, fuck it, two shots, fuck it Throw it like a struggle, damn
Nick a dress, making plans from the east, making bands in the west, rock star, black beetle type, bands on his bread. And baby, I want it, and I just be honest, cause I just can't front when I look at you. Just keep it 100 when I throw these hundreds, I hope that, that your that, ass gon' know what to my do. Doja Cat, call me El Gato. I'm the big boss and I got big bread. I'm getting big headed and I like good head. I'm not cheap, baby, and I'm sure not selfish. Taking like Elvis down the broke my pelvis. Jumping off the top rope, got them tag teaming. Putting on the show, I got the whole crowd screaming. Push you with the bread, I'm like a top notch freak. Act like I'm a treat when a dog see me. Like a thief in the night, and like she stole my green. Got me walking off the scene like a whole in my jeans. Empowerment Chat with Lauren Friends Radio. So I, I'm still I'm just so excited that I, I'm wearing the same necklace on the inauguration day as Vice President Harris. So that's just, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So you know, today all the women uh, throughout the country uh, were wearing our pearls in solidarity. So um, for uh, the inauguration and then support. So we we're all the way. Which one do you wear? Which one do you wear today? Uh, so I, I am uh, bummed out that there's not going to be an inaugural ball uh, this time around because I always look forward to seeing uh, the fashion and what the first lady and um, uh, vice president is going to uh, be wearing. Um, so, I mean, I'm sure once we get COVID and other things more under con- contained, that there's going to be plenty of uh, balls and black ties and state dinners in the future. So the other thing that's really interesting and groundbreaking about this new presidency is this is the first time that there's going to be a, what they call a second husband. So because traditionally, uh, every other uh, election, it was a male vice president. And so the um, spouse of of the vice president was always uh, referred to as the second lady. So now Kamala Harris's uh, husband, who's a lawyer, and said he was going to be moving his practice to D.C. Um, in support, is going to be referred to as the first, the second husband. So it's it'll be interesting because both um, the first lady and traditionally second lady they always have charitable platforms so it's going to be interesting to see if the first husband is going to follow suit and have his own uh, charitable platforms uh, it's also really exciting to see now we are going to have um, an in- very much uh, engaged first lady of course uh, first lady Lady Biden, uh, who, who has been a teacher uh, for over 40 years, has previously uh, said that she plans to continue uh, teaching uh, while she holds uh, the position of first lady. So I'm just so excited uh, for the future um, and as the mark that the Bidens are going to positively make. Uh, they've said that they are committed uh, to creating more equal health care, education, um, 
gun control and reform and that basically from the point in which they get sworn in they're hitting the ground running so uh, I'm now excited about the, the next weeks uh, to see all the things that are gonna happen so um, in other news uh, this past Friday, I uh, I did lose a, a friend and colleague of mine, and uh, the Philadelphia restaurant community just took a really big hit um, with the passing of Kevin Parker, not to be confused with Kevin Parker, the founder of Philly Fashion Week. Um, Kevin Parker was a K-E-V-E-N, uh, was a Philadelphia restaurateur. Uh, he... Uh, owned a, the soul food restaurant Miss Tootsie's in Old City. He also had a, has uh, a, a pop-up restaurant in the Reading Terminal Market as well and a, his own catering company. Uh, and Kevin Parker was such a, a part of the fabric of Philadelphia. Um, he had many celebrity clients over the years like Jill Scott and Patti LaBelle, John Legend. Uh, he, having the pleasure of meeting him and speaking with him several times. He, he it was just such a nice, uh, warm, beautiful person. Um, and everybody who, who came into contact with him or worked for him said the same thing, that uh, Kevin Parker is, is and will be remembered uh, even more so than for his food, but for the person who he was, his spirit, uh, Kevin Parker uh, employed many, created commerce, he um, believed in people, uh, he had a mentor and internship program, he silently lent fiscal support to many small businesses, designers, uh, you know, if you, you hit it off and uh, he believed in you, he was someone who helped many and always with a smile on his face and just uh, such a, a warm, caring energy. Uh, he helped so many in the community. Uh, he would sponsor his uh, venue, his restaurant uh, for events. Uh, many radio stations like WDAS uh, with Patty Jackson uh, held events there and uh, business mixers and uh, fashion shows. Ke Kevin Parker, he moved in the world of fashion, music, entertainment, not just uh, being a restaurateur. He decorated and designed his own uh, decor of his restaurant and had said that he wanted it to be um, a posh, uh, you know, luxe space and celebrating soul food and, and the black community. And he did do that also in his decor. Um, as, uh, his restaurant was known for his huge murals of uh, black music icons like uh, Mary J. Blige and Beyonce. That, that were just, uh, you know, painted uh, over many of the walls in, in his restaurant. You know, he celebrated women. Um, he cared about the children in the community. Uh, he was a mentor and a friend to many. Uh, sadly, he passed of liver cancer. Uh, the, the city was just turned on its ear because he was very quiet and, and private and n nobody knew uh, that he was sick. On Sunday, uh, many from the community assembled outside of Miss Tootsie's, uh, which is closed right now. The Reading Terminal uh, branch is open, but um, the restaurant in Old City is closed as they deal with the passing of their 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 leader uh, and uh, just figure out what direction they're going to go with things. Um, but many of his friends and, and colleagues gathered outside of his restaurant and released balloons. Um, uh, Kevin really was, uh, you know, walk the walk of helping others and and, and doing the most with with. with what what uh, you have and and uh, and being the light for others. So 
you know, we don't have to be wealthy millionaires and, and corporate executives uh, to be the light of kindness and, and encouragement uh, to each other on a daily basis. I, I miss him so much, um, and I, we knew each other for about a year, and I, I'm just lucky that we did get um, to know each other some over that time. So I, I send out my condolences to his family, the employees, and everyone who's uh, just um, was touched by his life. Um, Philadelphia is known for our amazing restaurants and, and art. I'm, I am excited that uh, now the museums are open opening back up in Philadelphia with, you know, COVID restrictions, of course, and protocol. So um, I'm actually going to be checking out the Barnes Foundation uh, this weekend, uh, which has an amazing collection of African uh, art, impressionist art, sculpture, uh, and it's not too far from the Philadelphia Museum of Art. So uh, if you're in Philly and you're looking for some cultural things to do, definitely check Check out the Rodin Museum, the Barnes Foundation, the Philadelphia Museum of Art, uh, and then there are also a lot of independent galleries uh, throughout Rittenhouse Square and Old City uh, to check out as well. Uh, so uh, let's uh, uh, talk about, there's a, uh, a lot of good uh, TV programs uh, coming on this week. Of course, you know, we're all going to be uh, deep in uh, the inaugural uh, coverage uh, all day today and tomorrow. Uh, but uh, in addition to in the inaugural um, festivities, I'm very excited about this uh, and an another move towards Girl Power, a rapper, actress, producer, talent manager, a songstress, mogul, Queen Latifah has just announced the, the uh, previews out online right now that Queen Latifah will be starring in an upcoming CBS uh, drama series, The Equalizer, which is going to debut uh, February 7th. So, of course, about three years ago, Denzel Washington, who has a new movie coming out on February 7th as well, um, played in the movie version. And uh, there, there, there was a, the first Equalizer TV series was in the 80s. So I forget who starred in it. It was a, it was a, a white actor. I forget who it was. Um, but there was a little bit of a backlash uh, where people were uh, kind of up in arms that the role was a B being uh, taken by a female, but we know uh, there's a long history of the female cop dramas, and and uh, there's lots of female cops out there, you know, uh, kicking butt and holding down the laws, so I, I don't know uh, why anyone would have a problem with a, a woman uh, uh, being the lead on, the, on a take charge uh, police drama. Uh, there, uh, you know, a long history of, of police uh, roles that have been played by women, like um, uh, Law and Order: Criminal Intent, of course. Uh, then on uh, Law and Order: uh, SVU uh, with Mariska Hagate, who on that story um, moved eventually moved up to the role of captain. Uh, so uh, I'm excited uh, to see. Uh, the show uh, and of course for our kids and our adults who are kids at heart the Muppet Show will be coming to Disney Plus in February as well. Um, <clears throat> streaming on Viacom, CBS, uh, and Paramount. Uh, so, the, uh, actually, that's going to launch March 4th um, <clears throat> to join uh, streaming, other streaming networks you know, like Disney and HBO uh, Max and, and the Peacock Network. So, in these 
in times of COVID, uh, streaming streaming networks really seem to be the next uh, broadcasting niche in, in uh, telecommunications. So, and then too, it can be cheaper than your cable packages. Uh, you get these unlimited choices. So, that's exciting. Um, I'm really excited to see how this new medium really uh, develops. So, and then uh, for our Selena fans, so. Uh, on May 14th, Selena, the series, part two, uh, will arrive. So uh, part two uh, is going to uh, focus on uh, Selena rising to stardom and meeting uh, Alonda Salvador, who, of course, would later uh, kill Selena in, in, in a money dispute. Uh, so uh, I'm uh, <laughs> excited uh, to see that. Now, of course, also, um, Alicia Keys, uh, this is exciting. So, of course, Alicia Keys has um, <coughs> done some acting over the last uh, couple of years. Uh, but she's now moving into the direction of uh, film direction. So, uh, she just uh, released on PBS a, a new film that is profiling uh, several prominent uh, black entertainers and their roles uh, also off the screen in social activism. So, she was spotlighting Diane Carroll, uh, Pam Greer, Pam Greer um, and several other important actresses and entertainers who were the first in the 60s and 70s and early 80s to step out and use their platform as entertainers to speak out on issues of racial equality and social justice. And uh, the movie includes interviews from Samuel Jackson, Halle Berry, um, and oh, and it also pro uh, spotlights Nina Simone and has an, um, the, an interview from her daughter. Of course, um, about two years ago, there was the big brouhaha uh, when Zoe Zeldana, who is very light-skinned, and Nina Simone, uh, who was a civil rights activist, uh, a darker skin tone, and had... Uh, traditionally African features. Um, the family and everybody was upset that they cast um, Zoe Zeldana, who's very fair, uh, light-skinned, and has fine features, and they actually put her in blackface and, and facial prosthetics and a wig, rather than um, uh, casting someone like uh, Indiana Ree or Viola Davis, who had the acting and vocal chops, but also similar uh, skin tone and physical, you know, characteristics. And uh, uh, Black Hollywood at the time really kind of clapped back at Zoe uh, Zoldana, who, uh, interesting, is kind of skirted around from the whole idea of talking about race and acknowledging herself as a black American and just wants to call herself an American. Um, so that was just a, a whole issue, uh, you know, on its own. Um, and, of course, Hollywood has a long history of colorism and uh, not um, appropriately casting, you know, um, the right types of actors and actresses um, when they're telling the stories of, um, you know, indigenous people or African American or uh, Muslim or Egyptian, and then they'll basically whitewash and and not really accurately um, represent the people whose stories that they're trying to tell. 
Um, and so uh, that that's going to be interesting to see. Um, and then also another thing I'm, I'm really excited about. So you know, Alicia Keys is always doing great stuff, um, uh, both in film and activism, and her skincare line as well as Maxwell. Uh, so uh, for your viewing and listening pleasure this Saturday, January twenty third. The National Cares Mentoring Movement is presenting the virtual uh, For Love of Our Children Gala, um, which is celebrating the 75th birthday of a media mogul, uh, Susan L. Taylor, who was the former um, head editor of Essence Magazine. And she is the founder of the National Cares Mentoring Movement, which has chapters all around the country. And so this uh, program is designed to pair quality mentors with underprivileged black youth uh, to give them a leg up and job skills and socialization and equity. So I'm really excited. This uh, concert's going to feature Maxwell, who hasn't performed in a minute and Alicia Keys. So uh, it's a free event, so you just have to go to the website and register. So if you want to uh, see this great night of entertainment, which also spotlights this wonderful charity empowering our youth, you can go to caresmentoring.gala. 2021.org and you know while you're there uh, you drop a little donation Uh, so we're going to take another musical break and when we come back we're going to start our our, uh, profiles and spotlights on several of uh, the corporations who have uh, moved into social accountability Um, so keep it locked into Style and Empowerment Chat with Lauren Friends and we'll be right back after this It's like that It's really like that It's like that It's nothing I won't do Cause she like that Anything the boo say is like that She got a real dude And he like that Oh, like that When it's game time Won't tolerate a fool Trying to gang mine Don't end up on the news Or date line Cause if it's for the queen Then it's worth the time I don't know where these fools get Why you don't take care of a woman I'm spit Why you ain't holding down the one that's been with Why you still scrolling so fast you done missed it all I'm trying to give you free game You just don't want to let a good thing get away Young fella, please don't make that mistake Ego and pride Push them aside I'm learning For mine, 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 I'll do whatever for mine, 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 yeah. Membership has its privileges. What's mine is yours and I can live with this. I'll let you in on all my businesses. And I'ma keep you up on what the business is. That's what I do. Woman I love, that's how I prove, betting nothing above, that's how I choose, and I'm betting on nothing, I don't know where these fools get, why you don't take care of a woman I'm spit, why you ain't holding down the one that's been with, why you still scrolling so fast you done missed it all, I'm trying to give you free game, you just don't want to let a good thing get away. Fella, please don't make that mistake Ego and pride Push them aside I'm learning in time You don't survive I'm willing to do whatever For mine, for mine, for mine, for mine For mine, for mine, for mine I'll do whatever for mine, for mine Say this ain't the game, this ain't the same, no way 
flames, this ain't for fame, no way. This is for change, this is for range, long way. Unless we arrange, how we exchange all day. And this ain't a game, this ain't the same, no way. And this ain't for lames, this ain't for fame, no way. This is for change, this is for range, no way. Let's be a bridge, how we exchange along way.
This ain't what I'm really used to. This is a little something I've been working on. It's new. I call it, uh... Yeah. Don't just take your clothes off. Take the problems off. Take the armor off. Take all the drama off. Let go your responsibilities you've been holding down. Know it's a lot on your mind, but I need your focus now. I need that. Yeah. I get that. Bring that body to me, uh, baby. Come closer, closer. Bring it to me. Oh yeah, baby. I'll give you all to see. Uh, baby, come closer, closer. Bring it to me. I 
been on. I had people in my circle, but they weren't in my corner. I had people in my business, but they didn't support it. They took advantage of me like they supposed to do at their moments. Everything you didn't do, but could've did if you wanted. Working overtime, it's time I could be taking you down. Real shit, I gotta quit acting like these niggas don't want my place when I ain't around. Even though niggas ain't threats. I know if I don't live with you, I gotta live with regret. I might walk in while you showering. Hit you in your shower cap, you gripping on the towel rack. I'm busting while you bust. Back in the bathtub, pouring champagne on that ass like I'm Dame Dash. Goddamn, your last Bring nigga blew with me. his lame ass. Mm. Baby, come closer, closer, bring get to me. Oh, yeah, baby, I'll give you ecstasy. Mm. Baby, come closer, closer, bring get to me. Can you speak my body language? I ain't got no time to waste. You got me losing patience. I can't wait to get you over here and get you naked. I'm about to ride that dick so crazy, I might break it. It was like, it was like his just talked to me. Mm. What did he say? Just Janae. enough problems now it's time for that and welcome back to Stone Empowerment Chat with Bar and Friends Radio so I'm excited to talk about our next segment um well uh, first of all um let's just also give a shout out to Michelle Obama who was rocking my favorite color purple to the inauguration always looking chic, timeless, and amazing, and her wavy hair was just blowing in the breeze. And this weekend, of course, she also, everybody was excited, she went natural for her birthday, her hair um, was all curly and fabulous, and Mrs. Obama was wearing high-waisted bell-bottom pants, this beautiful plum pantsuit, so I'm wondering now if that's going to be the new trend. I'm more of a skinny pant girl, um, but I, I have a feeling that wide pants are going to be the next new thing, because whenever Mrs. Obama does anything, it, it just everybody uh, just wants to follow. So, oh my God, Lady C, what? <laughs> Okay, so, um, Lady C just, uh, slid in here with some chocolate. <laughs> this is my favorite. Um, I'm trying to focus now. <laughs> so, I'm excited to talk about uh, toy manufacturer Mattel, who, of course, uh, makes board games and uh, dolls and a whole variety of toys. So now in the next segment here, we're going to talk about many companies who are moving in the direction of social responsibility. Now you might say, well, what's social responsibility? So being socially responsible in business is when companies use your position and resources to focus on social change, not just on profit. 
So they're using their resources and influence um, to create initiatives and um, policies and partnerships with charities um, that will help people and add to quality of life and just improving things that need change. So our first company that we're spotlighting is Mattel. So I'm very excited to talk uh, about uh, some of the great things Mattel is doing now. Of course, growing up, um, we all, uh, many of us, like to play with dolls, and um, that's also how we get uh, a lot of our creativity. And when we're playing with dolls and toys, it's also uh, as we're having make believe and, and our fantasies and stuff. Um, that's also how you come to the path of finding yourself and self esteem. And when we play with dolls or uh, we give our children or our siblings dolls to play with, we want uh, dolls that we, we see ourselves in, which also reinforces self-esteem and uh, self-worth, a uh, feeling like that there's others that are like you. Um, and of course, this world is a diverse place, um, a full of uh, all of us from different backgrounds and life experiences. So our dolls should reflect that. So uh, Mattel has made some very exciting um, strides in that department. So Mattel uh, just created its uh, first non-binary doll, um, which is really exciting. So uh, traditionally, um, uh, dolls are, are either male or female, but of course, uh, there are many of us who are gender neutral or, you know, on the path to figuring out our gender identity, um, and uh, many of us are, uh, uh, you know, on that path from the time of childhood. So, uh, of course, we want to have uh, dolls that represent us. Uh, so, very exciting that the Mattel is uh, uh, creating a, this a new doll. It's called. Uh, it's a customi customizable gender neutral doll. Uh, and it's assigned gender, of course, uh, of, of, of a toy or a doll or ourselves has a powerful influence on our self esteem, thought patterns, and behavior. So, this gender neutral doll provides a blank canvas that allows kids to create their own characters. Uh, instead of, like traditionally, Mattel would have the doll made in the outfits and the gender and the hair, and then, you know, of course, you have like the dream house and the different accessories that come with it to play with. But this gender neutral doll. It provides a blank canvas that allows kids to create their own characters by mixing and matching different elements, like switching out the hair and the clothing. There are six different kits in a range of skin tones, which I love. Um, and each kit includes a doll, um, <coughs> two hairstyles, and multiple styling options. So, you can switch the hair out, you can make the doll more male, female, uh, you can have it wear skirt, pants, or both. Uh, so that's really, really exciting. Um, and of course, uh, parents might not even realize, but by the uh, point in which children come into this world, we're oftentimes um, sending messages of gender identity to our children and gender roles and as sometimes uh, that child is actually um, in conflict from a, a young age um, 
and uh, feeling another another gender um, from from a young age, and uh, the parents might not know. Uh, so I think this is great, and it also opens up in a really. Uh, a creative way, uh, the conversation about gender identity uh, that we're we're all all normal um, and ha ha should be seen as that way as we are on our path to discovering ourselves. Uh, so also exciting is that Dr. Maya Angelou, a uh, claimed poet, author actress, activist, um, who also was very good friends with Aretha Franklin and Martin Luther King Jr. Um, as part of Barbie's Inspiring Women collection, uh, which has been crafted after um, <laughs> heroic risk takers uh, and, uh, who was, the dolls were inspired by their work and uh, just uh, game changers uh, so uh, Angela received over 50 honorary doctorates in her life as well as a presidential medal of freedom uh, so the Maya Angelou doll is currently available for pre-order at barbie.com and of course uh, <clears throat> Uh, the Inspiring Women Collection is uh, spotlighting uh, many uh, women uh, leaders in activism, in entertainment, in, in government, and <clears throat> education, just spotlighting these prolific women who uh, changed the game for many of us and uh, broke down walls and uh, perceived limitations of what women can be and, and represent. So we're going to take another musical break, and when we come back, we're going to continue uh, spotlighting our socially conscious corporations, um, uh, facilitating the much-needed change. Uh, so keep it locked in to Stalin Empowerment Chat with Lauren Friends, and we'll be right back after this. Change 
It's Style and Empowerment Chat with Laura and friends, so we're enjoying the inaugural coverage. I just say, like, I'm sitting here remembering four years ago uh, today, I was certain that Hillary Clinton was was going to win, and I was all prepared uh, to uh, just uh, talk about the importance of it. And then, uh, to my disheartening dismay, uh, Trump won, and I remember how hard it was for me to come on the mic and put those two words together, and I was just so sad and, and, and full of fear for what would ha- happen to our country under Trump's leadership. Uh, sadly, m- many of my fears and anxiety came to fruition. And now I sit on the other end of that, just so excited and happy to be sitting here announcing uh, that we now have a female vice president um, and just so elated uh, with happiness and, and possibilities and now having a president in office who is educated, experienced, has worked in, in the White House before, knows our Constitution and, and our laws, and is committed just to represent everybody and, and create an administration again of dignity and inclusion. As I'm sitting here watching President Biden and First Lady Biden walk towards the presidential motorcade, it's just so excited. Uh, I, I'm uh, looking forward to just feeling proud again uh, 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 being American and our leadership and and uh, us regaining credibility in the international uh, landscape. So um, let's continue on uh, with our spotlights of uh, corporations that are facilitating social change and and support of many uh, important initiatives. So the next corporation that we're going to spotlight is Apple. Uh, So Apple is doing so much um, that they started this in t- the end of 2020 uh, in response to the Black Lives Matter movement and, and call across the board <laughs> for accountability. Uh, so Apple is spending $100 million, uh, which they pledged to uh, racial equity through its racial equity and justice initiative to challenge opportunity barriers for communities of color. So, Apple just announced its plan to help launch Propel Center and break and uh, it's going to be a, a learning hub in Atlanta for HBCU students uh, which will be built in the historic Atlanta University Center. Um, the Atlanta University Center is the world's oldest and largest association of historically black colleges and university. The Propel Center uh, will offer initiatives, uh, education, tracks, curriculum, uh, and mentorship from Apple experts, and internship opportunities and scholarships. Apple is also establishing new grants to support HBCU uh, engineering programs and fellow programs uh, for educators. So if you uh, don't know um, what a fellow is or a fellowship, so that is a, a program that is given uh, to educators to further, uh, you have to apply for it. It's, it's similar to a grant. And it's specifically so an uh, educator can uh, further study and research within 
a particular area uh, of education to then master that uh, particular area to bring that knowledge back uh, to their students and uh, start new programs. Uh, so uh, the um, fellowship uh, program uh, is aimed to support HBCU educators in research and development and also giving them act exclusive access to lab space for free uh, to increase their technological knowledge, um, uh, their scientific uh, knowledge and experimentation with uh, different uh, physics and uh, studies and, and whatnot. Um, Apple is also offering uh, new scholarships uh, uh, for underrepresented communities. Uh, Apple has announced its plan to launch the Apple Development Academy in Detroit, Michigan. So the aim of the academy is to teach students tech skills. Uh, Apple is also committed to investing Ten million dollars with the Harlem Capital Investment Firm in New York, which of course is um, a moving stride towards uh, racial equity, uh, meaning that we all have the same levels of fiscal opportunities through uh, fiscal education. Um, Harlem Capital Investment Firm um, is uh, rolling out uh, many programs and, you know, teaching uh, minorities and uh, 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 investment and, and skills, of course, uh, the more knowledge we have um, about banking uh, and investments, uh, how to manage our, our finances, uh, how, how to uh, grow our equity, meaning our fiscal money. Um, that then gives us, with more equity, then we have the power to purchase homes, uh, invest in stocks, uh, liquid assets, uh, which we can pass on from generation to generation. Uh, which then, uh, of course, also uh, feeds the economy as well. Uh, so Apple is committed to uh, mentoring and uh, cre create, giving access to technical uh, skills, you know, through engineering and science um, and IT, and also uh, financial education as well. Uh, and of course, Apple has a long history of, of being philanthropic uh, and uh, contributing money to many charities. But here, uh, Apple is going beyond just contributing money. Apple is uh, is creating programs and initiatives and um, charity partnerships. Uh, to uh, create opportunities and training uh, for others to give us all more choices. Uh, so <laughs> I think that is just fantastic. I'm really excited uh, to, to see uh, these uh, changes happening. And so now um, another, another exciting um, a spotlight here. So, <laughs> an anonymous donor just gave a forty million dollars to the NAACP Legal Defense and Educational Fund. So, the grant will be used to support a new generation of civil rights lawyers. The program is dedicated to pursuing racial justice. Uh, the scholarships, uh, they require that the future lawyers commit to eight years of racial justice work in the South, uh, starting with a two-year postgraduate fellowship in civil rights and organizations. So I, all these companies are just 
not only doing so many amazing things, but other uh, leaders and their I hope hopefully are inspiring other companies to realize that business isn't just about making money. It's also about making a difference in people's lives and and creating opportunities for others and having a moral compass. We can uh, be fiscally successful while still uh, standing up and taking a stand in the problems of this world and, and doing good things and being the light. So we're going to take another musical break. When we come back, uh, we're going to spotlight more uh, uh, companies out there doing doing good things. And uh, so keep it locked in uh, to Style and Empowerment Chat with Laura and Friends Radio. Uh, thank all of our listeners in Pakistan, Atlanta, Philadelphia, uh, uh, all over the world, Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, so shout out to all of our, our stations, put network in, and everybody tuning in all around the world. We'll be right back after this. Patience is a virtue. I ain't trying to hurt you. I need you to read between the lines. Call me out and it's unfair. Told you I don't want to go there. Swear that I can taste it. All your expectations. Rising up, but push them to the side. You know I'm down to go anywhere. But told you I don't want to go there. I think you feel good. Yeah, I think you're so sweet. But you're taking this off too serious.
welcome back to Style and Empowerment Shop with Lauren Friends Radio. So, uh, of course, we can all go to the inauguration. Uh, <laughs> and I'm so mad. I'm like, it's happening on a Wednesday. And of course, I'm always off for, on, mostly on Wednesday for my show. I'm like, man, I could go down there. But, of course, we're all there in spirit. But here's an, an, a cool way that you can uh, can be connected in spirit with uh, President Biden and Kamala Harris, uh, our amazingly beautiful and fantastic new female vice president. So, on uh, Friday, uh, the Presidential Inaugura- Inauguration Committee along with uh, DJ D. Nice, who of course has been keeping us all lifted with his club quarantine set list on Instagram. Um, so they uh, released um, the official Biden-Harris inauguration playlist, uh, which is uh, distributed on uh, uh, this new app called Radio, R-A-E-D-I-O, or you could just uh, uh, look up this article on Teen Vogue, and they have uh, have a direct link in the article to it. So this playlist is featuring 46 tracks that's intended to reflect feelings of togetherness, collaboration, and unity. Uh, in a statement, the Biden-Harris team explained that the selection of tracks, quote, represents the diversity of our nation and our strength and resilience as we look forward to new leadership and a new era in America. So the playlist uh, includes songs from Beyonce. Um, uh, how do you say her name? Dua Lipo? I <laughs> She makes great dance pop music, but I can never figure out how to say her name. Uh, so there'll also be our uh, songs, uh, Dua Lipa or Lipa, that is her name, um, from Kendrick Lamar, um, as well as uh, Lady Gaga. Um, uh, just uh, scrolling uh, through this here. I mean, there's so many uh, great songs. Uh, to keep you moving um and like okay so they have find your way back by beyonce um your love keeps lifting me higher by jackie wilson uh marvin gay gotta give it up uh and uh, so many let's see um let it happen uh Ooh, uh, uh, what a fool believes by the Doobie Brothers. Lovely day by Bill Withers. That's one of my favorite songs. Move on up by Curtis Mayfield. Another one of my favorites. Golden by Philly's own Jill Scott. Uh, let's see that. Make it hot by by Anita and Diplo. Uh, we the people by the Staple Singers. Higher Love by Whitney Houston. You all know that's one of my favorite songs because I play it a lot here uh, on the show. So, uh, you know, I just thought this was just really a great way where already um, the president and vice president are trying to uplift us and just be in touch uh, with the culture. And music always it just uh, lifts us up and unites us, helps us reflect uh, and find peace and solutions, all of which I I am hopeful uh, this new year brings us. So rolling out to Teen Vogue and uh, check out this this article. Uh, you don't even have to bother like signing up on this radio app. You can just click on to this article in Teen Vogue, and it's right there. So uh, we're going to take it on out with some more great music. I, I hope that you're listening and feeling inspired and uplifted and that uh, good things are always possible. Never stop believing that things can change and be better and we can find Uh, better within ourselves Uh, I I wish everyone around the world listening peace uh, 
a just a uplifted spirit and let's uh, go get it all right let's, let's let's go after our dreams and let's make this world a better more peaceful and loving place and change all the things in this world that we need to change in a respectful and non-violent way so uh till next time uh, we'll be back next week with more style and empowerment chat with Laura and friends. I, I, I wish you an empowered and uplifting day and uh, girl power and, and endless opportunities. And we'll be back uh, next week. Frogs looking for Mr. Right. I'm sure it felt good for a while. Your good time lovers and sweet lies in the big city dancing all night. And now you're hurting inside. Gotta learn to take your time They say nothing good comes easy You gotta work to make it right Real love and don't come easy Cause you've been looking for love in all the wrong places Now you see the time has been Slow down, this heart can't take no more mistake. Yeah. It sure feels good when you're loving somebody. Yeah. And somebody's there loving you back. But it hurts so much when the table is turning. Nothing seems to work out.
queen like Amina or Fatima, redeemer of passion. We both have compassion for the black diaspora and all its vastness. You in my plans, thinking of a master, the essence of your dance, the truth in your laughter that I want to capture and cultivate stature. I'll be here for you till the hereafter. There's a clear path to, to the love inside you. My name's Rashid. It means I'm a guide to. We both are driven. That's why we arrived to a place where now anything we can ride through to tell the truth. I lied and been lied to. Seeker of a deeper ether. You don't have to hide you. Time to be in front. Time to be beside you. I don't want to move with nobody besides you. What? What? But it's not religion. I want to point to the riches of your being. We don't diss each other even when we disagree. And let's two step to freedom and help the world see themselves in God and every human being. You everything and you happen for a reason. Your presence is a joy to be in. Yeah. 